Hello and welcome to Spirit Stones Creative Crafts. I'm Kat and I just wanted to show you what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. Um, one of the things I showed you in my first video was this flower brooch that at the time wasn't quite finished. Um, and I've done the back and added the pin on. Um, like I said before, that's for me. So that's actually finished now so I get to wear it. That's pretty cool. Some of the other things I showed you were some of these um, wooden tiles and the star signs and I've turned them into some neckties. Not all of them have been done. Some of them have yet to be done on the other side but these are some that are finished uh, ready to wear and they hang really well and they look really pretty. So something that I didn't show you last time, this is something else that I'd actually made for myself, um, the tree uh, done with a metallic pen and then resined over not even sure resined is a word, but I resined. That's what we say anyway. So here's something else that I showed you before. Uh, these were just circles, not made into anything at the time. And so now we have the necklace and the earrings as well. They hang really beautiful as well. So they're looking pretty good. So what else have we done? Uh, the shoe. And that's now been turned into a keyring hang on somebody's handbag quite nicely. The bird. I really love this bird. I gave it a tiny little stone for an eye before I did the second layer of resin and put a pin badge on the back and now that's ready to wear as well. And this one. This seemed to be some people's favourites. I had lots of comments from friends and stuff. They really liked this one. So I added a couple of stones because, I don't know, it's bling. I like it. And that also is a pin badge ready to wear and the same with this one too this is actually not completely finished curing uh, around here um, but I added some stones before I put the top layer on and that's also a pin badge ready to go so be careful how I handle that one a few other things I made my first lot of resin that I ever did I did this one this is a necklace and that just hangs beautifully with some nice movement there, I like things that dangle in that way. And here's another necklace that I've done. I don't know if you can actually see the glitter design on that one. The camera does these no justice at all. Now here's another little one that I did. Oh, that's really pretty, that's on a necktie as well. All these are ready to wear now as jewellery. Um, something else that I did, decided to try the moulds, I quite liked them. I still like doing the drawing of the designs myself, but when you just want to play with the resin and you don't want to do all the other stuff, this is actually good fun to do. I love the use of the glitter, I use holographic glitters as well. Uh, this side's the best, I like the swirl of the gold and the red in the middle there. Here's one of the tiles you did see last time, that's now made into... Uh, a necktie, that looks really good, I like that one, might keep that one. Uh, here's another, I love the purple and the blue together um, and we've put the attachment on that and that can be worn as well. Something else we've done, um, you didn't you didn't see these before but these have actually had several lots of the Anita's gel stuff put on it and um, yeah, I like these. They've actually had a couple of goes on them. And they look really pretty. And they they hang nicely. Ready to go. Let's see what else we've got here. Uh, these are for a friend. And she loves red and glitter. So I thought these were just adorable. I'm going to be making quite a few of these, I reckon because they're just really pretty. I was going to put them onto hair slides and I thought they would hang really nice as earrings. So I'll just put the little crystal and the little glitter ball on there. I think they look really pretty. And we also have this pair here. Um, again with the with the glitter. They look really beautiful. And then these little birds. I like the birds. I have a thing about birds at the moment. And they are looking really good. I like them. They're kind of cute. Another pair of earrings. And 
and I've done these as well. This again was with uh, the mould and some glitter. Really like the green of them. So again, just a little stone in the middle. It just adds to it, I think. The earring hooks I made myself because I did these before. I found I actually had a, a load of earring hooks somewhere. So some of the other things that I've been doing that I am yet to put resin on. I have a little box full of things here to show you. So there's this heart here in purple and the blue. And a cherry. I like I like the little cherries, I think they're cute. And this is gonna be a pendant that hangs down. Um that's very pretty too. I really like this. I like that one. The not picking that up too well on the camera does actually have a pattern on it but it's a bit bling so it's shining a lot and then I have these there's two of these and then there's the bigger one and they're gonna be necklace and earrings and as you know once the the resin is on it it gives a totally different look to the glitter I think so what else do we have in here? This here. It's got a little drop of resin on it already because I used a stick to pick it up and move it out of my way. But that's going to look beautiful when it's done and you won't see none of that because the resin will change the whole colour of it which is the hope is that it becomes darker and then it becomes so much darker that it actually ends up like this. So this is going to have the other side. I've had a bit of a battle with this one because the resin spilt onto the other side and it made a mess. And so I had to sand it all off. And this is paper, really, but it sanded off pretty well. And then I've gone over it in black. And by the time the resin gets on that, you won't see any of it. Um, but I think that is really, really beautiful. The dragonflies, everybody seems to really like them. So we've still got this one to do. And they're probably going to have holes here and be turned into necklaces. So what else have I been making? I've done some more tiles but I've done them on a bigger scale. Uh, here's the size of the original ones, the small ones, and here's the new ones. And I really like these. I like the size of them, the feel of them. I just think they're better really. So what else do we have in our little box? A really beautiful leaf the camera can see the patterns on that one and I think uh, one more thing to show you this beautiful bird which I'm going to resin and that will be a wearable piece as a necklace so that's it that's what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks in amongst other things so I just wanted to say hi show you what I've been doing if you want to um, connect with me then get over to the link at the bottom for Facebook and you'll find me on there and if anybody wants any to buy anything then um, yeah get to me and let me know just finding things around my desk now so um, enjoy doing the videos enjoy showing you what I've been doing so thanks so far for all the views on my first video and I look forward to connecting more with all of you and sharing what we do because craft is a wonderful world to be in so thank you very much for everybody who's inspired me and taught me all the things that I know I'm grateful to each and every single one of you have a great Monday thank you bye bye